Alright. No reports for her to deserve it. She's stupid. Okay, this is for Owen. Alright, so everybody understand I got this right here. Okay, the question is, shh, come on focus, what's the magnitude of instantaneous power generated by friction halfway down? So let's find out a couple things you could do. You can find out how far it's going to travel here first, right? So if, if I sum my forces in the x direction here, with this being the x-axis, they just did, they just did. Yeah, but I saw some of them were actually greater than one, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. All right. So anything that goes up, I'll have 85.90 minus 60. Can someone run the numbers? 0.145. That's going to give my force net. And what does that give you? Um, What'd you get? 25 point what? 0.75? Is that right, right there? Is that correct? Okay. So that's going up. Your net force going up, right? So this object's obviously accelerating, accelerating, or negative, has negative acceleration. So we can find out the acceleration by F is equal to mass times acceleration. We'll take 25.75 is equal to the mass. The mass is 10.7. Tell me what the acceleration is. Uh, 2.4 okay meters per second squared and acceleration is going accelerating upward does that make sense there mm -hmm. so can we say negative you can s wh whatever you want to do I mean I'm going to do it in the equation so now I want to find how far it's going to travel we can go back this equation here vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2 times a times delta x. Which number? Uh, which problem number is this guy? Uh, it's 18 and 19. This is part. This well, is eight. You don't have to do six because that one just helps. Okay, so this is part of 18, 19. What was the last one? I don't remember. Yeah, that's right. We did the last ones. Okay. Okay, so now we'll find out the acceleration is going to stop. So this is going to be zero. My initial velocity was 2.04 right here. Plus 2 times my acceleration. The acceleration would make it negative 2.41 times delta x. Move this over to the other side. The negatives will cancel out. That gives you 2.04 squared divided by in parentheses 2 times 2.41. Can someone tell me what that is? What's that now? 0 0.508. 0 0.508. So it's going to travel 0 0.508 meters. Okay, the question is um, power generated by friction halfway. So let's find out what the velocity is because right we know power is force times velocity, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we divide that by 2, that's 0 0.254, right? Half of that. Does everybody understand what I'm saying there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's use that same equation and find out what the velocity is. So we go back to Vf squared is equal to 2.04 squared plus 2 times negative 2.41 times 0.254. Can someone run all that and then take the square root of that? And it has to be less than 2.04 you messed up. Did you get it? Trust yeah. One point seven. No, no, it can't be. You got no. Someone, it can't be less two point zero four. That's a negative. That's half of the uh, one point seven. One point seven even. One point seven one. One point seven one meters per second. Okay, then the power should be the value of the frictional force. The frictional force is eighty five point nine. Everybody see where I got that? 
Does everybody see where I got the 85.9? Yeah. So we take 85.90, multiply it by the velocity when I'm halfway down. What does that give me? 146.889. And that would be watts. Let's see if that's close to what they said. Why didn't I get it? Wait a second. Why wouldn't you get that? No, I'm the physics No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Halfway between the initial and final position. Wait, is it work over time? No, it should work. Why aren't we getting the velocity? Wait, isn't it work? It's work over time, Dr. Hall. But it says instantaneous power generated by friction halfway. Hold up, what was the velocity? So if I find out my velocity halfway, Time multiply it by the frictional force, what I should. What, what was halfway point? What was the halfway point? 2 by 4 divided by, what was our time? 2 by 4. Can we do it that way? Well, you shouldn't need it, though. Oh, wait, hold on. Dr. Hold. What's that? But what force times velocity same you should get the same thing. Oh yeah. Oh wait a second, I got a different value here. Check that one. Someone give me that value there. Don't you get point eight six three? Yes. Oh, that's a mistake right there. I didn't do it. Someone lied to me. Okay. Okay, we divide that by two. Now let's run again. So half of that's going to give me point four three one seven meters. Because it wants no halfway down. Take this guy back out and put in 0.437. Okay, Run it again and see, see what you get for velocity. 1.99. How could it be bigger? Hold on, hold on. It can't be larger. Yeah, I can't trust you guys. No. Yeah, when I did it, no, I was right. I, I guess it was Two times I get 2.41. I got 1.44. I found this different. I got 2.1. Catherine. Oh, I didn't do 2.4. What? Oh, and this is all Catherine's fault. Just say no. I didn't mean, just. Okay. I didn't give it wrong. That's why Catherine What's that? What? Yes, well, close enough, but I mean, within rounding. Just use, use all the decimals when you do it. Uh, yeah, I got that. Okay, so what did you guys get uh, roughly? One what? 120? 123.6. something? Okay, 123.7. Again, when you do it, make sure you use all the decimals because that's yeah, probably why we're off just a little bit. The, uh, yeah. If you, if you use all the decimals, I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what it, remember how I was really, yeah, I kept thinking, you know, I got nine in one video. No, that's close enough. That's close enough. Huh? Are you, are you, still? what is, yeah, but you guys understand my process here. Yeah. I did, I did 19, and the reason why I kept getting it wrong was I rounded too much, and it gave me like a whole number off. So I used to say number six was really 19. It's just the way the answers come out. And they give you like in sets, so like each problem is a different set. So it's a set of All right, so let's talk about this one here. Magnitude average power. The easiest thing for you to do is find out what time is. Huh? Oh, this one's been withdrawn? Okay. I don't know why, but. Okay, it's okay. It's no problem. Yeah, I guess don't worry about it. You must have taken it out. All right. The elevator problem here. Yeah, let's go, let's go over this one. Oh, it's easy, though. It's easy. 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 It
Uh, what number is it? This 21? Yeah, for Owen, Is the elevator it's showing 21 of mine? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Elevator has a mass of 920 and 650. So 920 and 650 is 1570, right? So you got 1570 kilograms sitting in here. You got a frictional force of 4790 that's pushing down here. It retards the motion, yes. No, it's accelerating. Upward acceleration. Yeah, so do mass over here times 0.528. Everybody follow that? Yes or no? It, well, it tells me an acceleration. So all I'm doing here is this. I'll do it in blue. Summation of forces in the y direction must equal to mass times acceleration in the y direction. That's all I'm doing here. So that gives me minus 4790 minus 1570 times 9.8 plus F 14. must equal to 1570 times 0.528. Does everybody follow that? That's, this is going to tell me the force required to give me that much acceleration. Everybody follow? Everybody okay? So is an F going to be equal to 1570 times 0.528 plus 4790 plus 1570 times 9.8? And can someone run that number? Twenty one zero zero four point nine six. Can can someone confirm that? All right. So there's our force. Okay, and we want to find a power for instantaneous speed at two point oh nine. Should be able to take that force times two point oh nine. And does that give you approximately that value right there? The uh, velocity. Yeah, it does right there. Instantaneous speed at 2.09. Does that give you 43,900? Oh, that was much easier. Yeah. Why did they do like velocity and all this stuff for one? Oh my god, no wonder. Okay, I look like. Uh, you can. I mean, we do. How many questions are there? On the UT? Yeah. I don't remember. 22, 23, I don't know. 22 now. Oh, there was one that they gave you like acceleration. I'm like, oh. I've been like up to like 13. Or 20. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I my gosh. How many cops got me? Way too many, I need. Need to stop. It's probably not good for me. What's that? Uh, 13? I mean, I can. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, the power, the power driver problem? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. How did you do that by accident? That's what I just I don't know. I'm making. But you know what to do, though. Yeah, I know what to do. Is that a cultish language? I have to look up how to switch it. I got better things to do with my time. <laughs> okay. There you go. Drivers used to drive a steel white beam from the ground. Power driver falls. Do you, do you ever like eat dinner with your cat in your lap and you like screw your cat? What's that? All these people like, 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 the, like in movies, they have like people like sit on the road and like stir it with cat. No, I don't do that. Like, you just need a cat in and then you just like, you just need a cat in and then 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 you just need a cat in and then
Uh, my son says he thinks he's found someone. I also called the Humane Society in Blacksburg, and they said they would take it too. It's a, it's a no-kill facility. Unless you have some, do you have someone in resident? Do angels ever talk about it? Like, we'll talk about it, but then we never talk about it. Well, yeah. If you decide you want it or something, let me know, and I'll see if he's still. I really want a Dr. Hole. We have it. Dr. Hole. Dr. Hole. What's that? I would kill for your dog. I think it's like part chihuahua or something. Um, My son say, thinks he has someone that wants it. So. But this is not aggressive. Guys, he's a really sweetie. No, wait a second. This is. Let me change this. Hang on a second. Peanut. I think it's he. Are you what? <laughs> I'm better be, I mean. Wait, did you say what? peanut? Yes. What did you say, Dr. Hole? I think it's peanut. I don't know what I said. I don't think it is. How do you get to know I didn't. Have you seen the dog this outside? Yeah, well, it's been a while since I've seen him. How do you know him this time? Huh? How do you know him this time? Well, I'm sure it's a boy, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, here we go. What's that? All right. So here's what you want to do in this one. Find out how much energy you have, potential energy on this one. Your potential energy is going to be MGH, right? So you're going to have 2180 times 9.8 times the 2.86. Let me move this down so I get some room. 2.86 plus the plus the point one three two. You have to do that. Okay, so that's basically all you're doing this. You're doing potential energy plus kinetic energy plus work is equal to and this is initial initial and that's equal to PE final plus KE final, right? But but all this goes to zero. When it stops, right? It's gone all the way down. It's stopped. You lost. It stopped moving. So kinetic energy is zero. There's no gravitation. That's zero. Here, when it starts, this all goes to zero too. You had no kinetic. It just drops. So this is all you have. This is a potential. All you're going to do now is set that equal to force times distance. Wait, where was the work? What's that? Isn't potential energy plus work? Yes, but I'll add the error. I'll just add the work in. I'm, I'm doing this plus the work, which is going to be force times the distance, which is point. Come on, come on, come on. What? It's locking up on me. Hang on a second. <laughs> which will be the force? What force do you use? 132 is equal to zero. That's all you're going to do. Software app. <laughs> that makes sense? Wait, what? So, so you got this much, this much potential energy and you got work. So the only work you have is the magnitude of the force the beam exerts on the power driver. Yes. So you get a big force. Yeah, you'll get a big one. I got like four, eight Right, right. I got four, eight. Yeah. We good with that? Uh, I think it's like 200 or something, I think, or some of them are 100. There's a lot of them. They probably set up a program to do it, I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah. What do what? I don't know. <laughs> okay, can we move on the test? I need to go to the test, is that okay? We'll try to. Can you think figure them out? What? The record. The rest. If we have time, I'll try to help you. But I want to get going because this is the only chance I get to meet with you before the test. That's all. Oh, no. oh, no. okay. I mean, the test on Monday.
Yeah. Okay, you're going to get you're going to get a te these test problems I'm giving you here are almost identical to the test. Please, if you want to take some good notes on this. Is this tomorrow? Not tomorrow. I think it's the following week. Check with him. I was going to say it's two o'clock, but just make sure you double check with him. Okay. But it's, it's a week from this weekend. Okay. If you have a problem, going to be almost identical to this. First thing you do is draw again force diagram or free by diagram. So do that. You're going to come down here. You're going to come here. You're going to have a force going here, and you want to find out there's no friction here. No. So would everybody agree that to find? I'm skipping steps a little bit. You want to draw a triangle? Sure. The triangle would look like this, where this is 33, this is going to be 33 degrees here. This would be 60, 60 times 9.8, and that's going to give you 588 newtons here. And then this one would be 588 times cosine of 33, right? Wouldn't force be put around the 588? Yeah, you're right, Robert, yeah. So that gives me 493.13 there. So I'll put that in there as 493.13 newtons here. That's my normal. It would be the same thing, 493.13. This guy right here is going to be 588 sine 33. It's 588 times sine 33. Yeah. So that gives me 320.247 newtons. Actually, I'll put it over here. Let me talk about why, why they're the same. The reason this and this are the same is because you have a con this is a constant velocity, and it's going to tell you that in the, in the test. Constant velocity here. If this constant velocity here, the force and this have got to be equal to each other. Does that make sense? Otherwise, you've got acceleration. All right, so once you get this guy right here, you're done. Just instantaneous power, 320.247 times the velocity, 4.4, .4, and that's all you have to do in the test, and you're done. That's your answer. Well, the test where you have the friction. No, there's no friction. This, again, I'm making this. How many questions are on the test? How did you find the force? Again, constant velocity, then the force and this have got to be the same. Oh, right. But how many What's that? The one on the test the one on the test is identical to this problem, just different numbers. Oh, yes. Okay, the test, Robert asked how many. 22 questions, you got to do 21, and there's one bonus question that I think it's worth an extra problem. Dr. Holt, are you giving us, are you giving us all the Yeah, I will give them to you. I don't have them printed out. Um, I'll talk to Mr. Merrill and try to get those to you. What's Mr. Merrill doing? Okay, three percent. I'll do the same then. Uh, like he had, I think, like three, and I took one of them out, so you only have two, and they're not too bad. If you don't use a formula sheet. Yeah. I don't care. Doesn't matter, man. So does everybody got this problem down? You're putting this on YouTube, right? Yeah, I'm putting it right now, yeah. I looked at every one of these problems last night, worked through them. They're real I think this test is really easy. I think it's I think no I No, I really I don't I think this test is too easy, honestly. I think it is. No, but I thought Mr. Merrill made this test. I took out one of the problems that I didn't, that I thought you guys might not get put a put more of a challenging problem in. Uh, but other than that, is it easier than the UT? Yeah, I think so. It's a problem that we did in class. You may not remember it, but it's a problem. I can't tell you. What's that? Is it a whole lot easier than UT? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a few problems that are almost identical to UT problems. But. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, like this problem here, this is, con I would consider a challenging problem. I don't think it's, I don't think it's challenging, but I'd consider it a challenging problem compared to the test. On the test, I don't, don't remember. There's spring, there are some spring problems. What's that? This problem, well, this problem's identical to the test problem. There's a problem like this. Would you? I'll let you guys try this. Would you have any problem with this one? What? Find the deflection. How? Just go back to hooks. The this. Okay. So and don't get too excited about the negative. You can just drop a negative for doing this problem you want to. Thank you. Uh, Solve for x first. Yeah. So is an x equal to two thirds? So then all you have to do is this: one half times thirty. Times two thirds squared, and you're done. That's it. You're and equal to KS? Yes. So, does all the formulas that we have in the notes just memorize those and should be okay? Wait, how do you, is that a negative? It is a negative, it just means it goes the opposite direction. So, don't get too excited about the negative. That's the uh, oh, so Hooke's Law, where force equals the spring constant times the deflection. What's that? Is that what I wrote that? 33.75. 33. Is that what you guys got? Wait, I got something. I just text. Okay. Okay, what did you guys get? Okay, so we okay with that? Yeah. Emily lied to us. Emily, stop lying. I want Owen to fail. Good. Okay, a problem like that, almost identical to that. Just different numbers, that's all it is. F equals K. Okay. Same numbers, though? No, I won't do the same numbers. That's a good idea. Elevator problem. Yeah. So this is the question, like, this is like exactly, if these are identical to that. What I'm showing is identical to that. Okay, we got this one. All right. Elevator. Elevator stops in 10 minutes. What's the initial velocity? No, it's 10 meters. Yeah, elevator stops in 10 meters. What's the initial velocity here? So a total force diagram, yes. You only have to do that. So 1,300 times 9.8. So that's 12, 7, 40 newtons. And I got 14,000 pulling up. All you have to do here is find out what your net force is. Summation, the force is the y is equal to my net force. Well, what does your net force do? What's that now? Minus 12 times. Where's the minus? Oh, just you just gotta add just the difference between those two, which would be what? Uh, one two six zero. Yeah. So one two six zero is my net force. Does that make sense there? Okay, all you have to do is multiply by 10, and you're all, and, oh, wait a second, that gives you, the, that'll give you the work. So if I take, okay, so there's my net force. So then I know the work that's being done is my net force, 1260 times 10, right? And obviously it's slowing it down, right? Slowing it down, so we'll make it, ne we're going to make it negative work. It's slowing it down, right? So doesn't that give me 1,000, excuse me, 12,600 of joules? 
Okay, all you have to do at that point in time is come back here and you know that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, which is equal to Ke final minus Ke initial. Okay? My Ke final, it's stopped, right? Does that make sense? So this is zero. Question? No. So zero minus one half times the mass, which is 1300, times velocity squared, better equal to negative 12,600 joules. And you'll have all these equations. Wait, why do we do it Shit. What's that? What are we doing, what now? Yeah. Aren't you going to have all these equations on this Yeah, but hopefully you don't need them. Well, I'm waiting for that. I got 4.4. Let's we'll say. So I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. You tell me the group this, Jessica. I'm moving this by 2, and then put 1,300 down here. And then take do all that, and then the negatives will cancel out, right? Because oh, I, I was looking down on that one. Did you get 4.4? Yeah. Never mind. It's okay. So velocity is... 4.4 meters per second initial. Does that make sense? That means your initial velocity, sorry. Initial velocity. But the question was, what's your initial velocity? Why does it work negative? Uh, work because it's slowing it down. Scroll back up or down? It's not bad, right? Good. I think that's the last problem, and I'm going to let you start in fact. Oh, yeah, we did this one earlier. All right, so all you have to do the rest of the day, you got... Are we only doing those three? That's all I'm going to do. And the rest of the packet are almost identical to the problems, too. The packet I gave you, if you can do those packets, I looked at them, they're almost identical to the test problems. So all this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're on your own, working your groups. And I, if you get an answer or something, I got the answers, the uh, okay. solutions up here. Let me shut this off so Owen can watch this. Owen, Owen, he sucks!